Okay, let's get started. I'm so excited about today's video. Hi folks, it's Lizzie here and today I'm going to be talking about my 2019 Reading Rush TBR and what the heck is the Reading Rush, what am I doing, why am I reading so much and what's coming up with my recent TBR that I just like decided to do today. So keep watching because we're going to talk about some books. So what is the Reading Rush? Well the Reading Rush, I don't know much about it because like this is the first year I'm doing it so by far not an expert on this. Um, but I believe it was the book Tubathon Readathon a while back and then the host named it the Reading Rush and it's like all over booktubed for when it happens. And um, it's like a week where you try to read seven books and you try to do the seven prompts and we just try to all read and talk about reading together. And I'm going to look for the dates really quick on my computer because I don't have them memorized but I know it's coming up. So just a second, let me look at these dates and then we'll find out when it is so we can do it together. And I found the dates. So they are July 22nd through the 28th. So that gives me a little bit over seven days, almost a week from now, to um, figure out my plan to get these books read and to start getting them from the library and start reading them. The cool thing about the reading rush is there's seven prompts so you don't have to read like all the same kind of books and um, so you pick a book for each prompt that and try to like go with a prompt and see if you can read that book and they can be manga, they can be um, graphic novels, they could be like short stories, a big book like 700 pages or 70 pages, it doesn't matter as long as it's something you can read and it could be audiobooks too if you're listening to a book that's reading. Um, so let's talk about the prompts and what I decided to pick for the prompts this year. So the first prompt is read a book with purple on the cover and I've just requested a book with purple on the cover from the library that's been on my TBR for a while and I'm super excited to read it and it's Brightly Burning from Alexa Dunn and Alexa Dunn has a author tube channel where she talks about books so I discovered her book through that author tube channel and this is a Jane Eyre in space telling and I really like classics retold in space. I think it's a really cool way to mix up a classic book and it has purple on the cover and I've been meaning to read it for a while so I'm super excited to read this for the reading rush this year. Read a book in the same spot. So this doesn't have to do with like what book you pick but to just read a book at the same spot and I've been thinking about like how I want to do this. I could pick a spot at work when I'm on break and just read on break in that same spot or I could pick a book and read in bed every night and then just read before I go to sleep and that would like be the same spot but I think I'm gonna do read a book at work because I think that will stretch me more and like I'll have to find a place in the break room sit down and read and I get like 15 minute breaks sometimes half hour breaks other times so I think this will be really good because I think that would be different so I think I'm gonna do that and for the book that I'm gonna try to read at work I'm gonna try to read Arch Enemies by Marissa Meyer and this is the sequel to Renegades and I loved Renegades if you don't know what it's about it's about a futuristic society of superheroes and villains it, there's people who have superhero skills and how they use their super abilities and there's um, people who support anarchy which means that like every man to himself there is no law there is no government and those are basically the villains of the story and there are superheroes who decided that there needs to be government and so they came in they saved the world from the anarchist and they established a government but what you don't know is the anarchists were also people with super abilities so you have superhero versus superhero but one set of superheroes are considered villains and the others are considered superheroes but who is actually the good people in the story and that's what this book is about it's about some characters set in this controversy and I read the first book Renegades and loved it and now I'm super excited for Arch Enemies because I've been meaning to read it for a while so very excited to read it next week. <laughs> okay so the third prompt and they're probably not in order that the original reading rush had them in but we're just going with the order I wrote them on my little handy dandy and notepad. So the third prompt, read a non-human character. And for this prompt I'm going to read the sequel to Ashley Poston's, Poston's Heart of Iron book soul of stars and this is a book set in space so apparently i'm reading lots of books set in space in for the reading rush and it's an anastasia in space retelling so it takes the classic story of anastasia the lost russian princess and puts it in space and it has some non-human characters it has an android or a droid i'm not 
just a robot. So a robot is one of the main characters and I'm very excited because Heart of Iron was a gripping story. I loved it and I'm very excited to read the sequel Soul of Stars. I mean the cover is beautiful, the storytelling is magnificent. Every blurb that I actually posts and posts on Twitter I kind of get more nervous for this book because I'm really scared about what's going to happen to my favorite characters. Read a book with five plus words in the title and I had to think about this for a while did I have a book that had five plus words because a lot of books are like three words or two words long maybe four um, but I thought of a book and I'm excited to read it and I'm gonna read Becky Albertalli's The Upside of the Unrequited it has more than five words and I have had it on my TBR for a very long time and I just haven't picked it up so this is what I'm gonna read for this prompt read a book that is a movie and I had to think a bit about this and I've been wanting to read um, the Cassandra Clare City of Bones series because I've never actually read them. I just know a lot about them because I've read The Infernal Devices and The Dark Artifices. But I thought I should start from the beginning and read all of Cassie Clare's books. So I'm going to read City of Bones and hopefully watch the City of Bones movie, which I've never seen. I've only seen some of the Shadowhunters TV series. And I'm going to watch the movie because part of this prompt is read the book and watch the movie. So I want to watch the movie adaption, see what I think, if I like it, because I hear it has some like big fans on the internet. So we're going to find out. Almost to last prompt, the sixth one. Read a book you meant to read last year. And I feel like this is personally calling me out because there are so many books on my TBR that I meant to read last year. So which book did I pick? And I chose Alex London's Black Wings Beating because it is a uh, falconry fantasy with queer characters and it has a gorgeous cover and everybody I know that's read it has loved it so I requested it from the library and I'm super excited to pick it up because I have never read it and I think it's going to be fantastic so very excited to pick Black Wings Beating up and finally get it off my TBR too. And the final prompt is read an author's first book and I have lots of first books debuts on my um, TBR, but I was thinking about do I, did I want to use City of Bones as this prompt or did I want to use City of Bones for the movie? And so I thought about several books and I decided on We Hunt the Bl Fame from Hafsa Fasil. Um, but this is a first book from this author and it's a debut fantasy and I believe it's going to be really gripping, really good. I have the ebook so I'm going to read it for the reading rush and I think I'm going to really enjoy it. So I am very excited. How many times can I say excited in one video? We will see. Um, should I count? <laughs> anyway, um, I think the reading rush this year is going to be super fun. It's my very first year to participate. Um, and I've never actually participated really well in a readathon before because I tend to get distracted and I'm kind of a mood reader. I read whatever I want whenever I feel like it. But I feel like these are a lot of variety of books and a lot of different prompts and so I think I should be in the mood for all of them over the entire week and do I hope to read seven books in seven days? Yes, really hoping to do that which will help me catch up on my Goodreads um, challenge and help me just get back into writing reviews, writing book posts, writing publishing book two videos and doing all the great bookish stuff that I haven't gotten to do in a while. So if you're doing the reading rush, let me know what you'll be reading. I can't wait to hear all about it and see your videos for your TBR. So send me those links in the comments and I will talk to you guys later. See ya!